It really is a dog's life. Have you ever thought about trading places with a dog just for a minute? Or even living a dog's life? Many people have. When we see dogs lying in the sun in a deep contented sleep, rolling in the grass, lifting their heads to a beautiful breeze, we think, wouldn't it be great to be a dog? Unlike us, dogs seem to have no worries. They seem to really enjoy living and get the most out of everything that they do. Most dogs just seem, well, happy all the time. Yet if given the chance, of course, few people would actually trade places with a dog. And so this remains just another passing thought. But what if we could take all that really does seem to be great about a dog's life and integrate it into our lives? Not trade places with a dog, but take all the things that make us envy dogs sometimes. Wouldn't that be the best of both worlds? Wouldn't then we really have the reality of a dog's life? In order to really enjoy a dog, one really doesn't merely try to train him to be a semi-human. The point of it is to open oneself to the possibility of becoming partly a dog. If you read any of today's self-help books, it even sometimes of the great philosophers, they are often telling us to behave and think much like dogs do. Well, they never come right out and say this, of course, but when you get behind all of the advice, isn't that what a lot of us are thinking? <laughs>